Coming up on Mountain News this morning, an ailing Eastern Kentucky Water District will soon be under new management. And for 42 years, Mike Howard of Harlan County was Mountain Santa. After his death, his son is continuing his legacy. Plus, Governor-elect Andy Bashir appears to be making an effort to work across party lines. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, it is 6 o'clock. I'm Will Puckett. And I'm Madison Pergram. Thank you for tuning in to Mountain News this morning on this Wednesday, November the 20th. Madison luckily reminded me before we came up that Said it was this my is, turn. This is your turn to talk. I, you know, sometimes you just got to refresh that memory. Unfortunately, one thing that we don't have to be rem reminded of, at least my two and a half years in the mountains, is rain. And we had some this morning. We did. And I, I think I saw some last night, too, because I went, went out to take the trash out and it was sprinkling. So it's good for the area. It is good. We were in a drought. But Brandon, let's bring you in this morning. And yesterday we got a sneak peek at our, wither, our winter weather outlook. And there was an interesting part of that that said that you all expect above average rainfall again this winter. Yep, exactly. And uh, can't do another winter with. <laughs> I know. And listen, we talked about it last night. We actually got the full winter weather outlook last night. If you missed that, going over to WYMT.com. It's on there. And you can also find our Facebook Live that Paige and I did last night, kind of breaking it down for you graphic by graphic. But again, soggy couple of uh, forecast periods here the last little bit. Let's take a look right now what's going on on live pinpoint Doppler radar. And you can see just a few little stray showers hanging out there on Doppler. Fog is the main issue this morning. We're going to continue to watch that. Remember, anything less than five miles is dense fog. Temperatures, though, in the 30s and 40s. Only 130 there wise at 39. Everybody else in the 40s. 50 today. If we're lucky, we'll see those clouds clear out fast enough and maybe it'll get just a degree or two warmer. We'll talk about the rest of the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. All righty, Brandon. Thank you. Well, for 42 years, Mike Howard of Harlan County was Mountain Santa. He traveled across the area dressed as Santa, delivering toys to thousands of kids who may not have a Christmas otherwise. And in early 2018, he died, but his legacy lives on through his son, Jordan, who has become the new Mountain Santa. WYMT's Connor James has more. Some people say you shouldn't decorate and prepare for Christmas until after Thanksgiving. No, no, it starts in October. Don't tell that to the people who live down Santa Lane. For me, before Halloween. Here, smoke signals the start of wrapping presents. I'd say we got over a thousand right now, and it's just middle point, middle way, halfway through. For weeks, Jordan Howard and others spend day after day taping and folding, wrapping each gift by hand. It just, it's... Everything's still coming together. Building a mountain of toys to bring to kids in Harlan County. Jordan is following his father's footsteps. Mike Howard was the original mountain Santa. So dad told me before he passed, he said, you got to have the Lord in it. So that's what I'm doing. Only eight months later, he also lost his mom. But instead of mourn, Jordan says what he's doing here, continuing on the tradition, that's how he keeps them around. It's a feeling that you can't describe. Uh, when when you, you don't think that a community would come together like they have to continue to, to keep doing this. But it's just, it's awesome. It is, it's just amazing. Uh, I don't, it's just, it, it's something. So if you see people down Santa Lane preparing and decorating for Christmas early, I'm excited for Christmas. I'd recommend joining in. That's where we're at. For anyone who wants to help, all you have to do is stop by Mountain Santa's workshop. Howard is holding a couple roadblocks in the coming weeks to raise money for the cause. They plan on having their first run to give out gifts on December 14th. Well, one Marion County family is using the loss of their son to help other children. One-year-old Lincoln Spaulding died in September. With the holidays approaching, his family is starting a toy drive in his name. Lincoln's Toy Box is collecting toys for children in need. Those toys will then be handed out just in time for Christmas. Lincoln's family says it is a blessing knowing they are bringing smiles to some families Christmas morning. Christmas is going to be hard as is, um, so maybe if we can put some smiling faces on some other kids, it'll make it a little less hard. You no, know, by doing, you know, taking a negative situation and, and trying to make the most out of it, you know, in a positive light, for Lincoln is going to allow Lincoln to live on. Lincoln's Toy Box will be collecting toys through December 13th. The family says they have also created t-shirts. Proceeds from those shirts will go to buying even more toys. 
And work is taking place to restore a pond that mysteriously drained one night in August at a community college campus in Laurel County. Officials say a pipe that was 50 or 60 years old likely rested at the Laurel County campus of Somerset Community College in London, which caused the water to drain. College officials say work is taking place to rebuild the dam on the northeast side of the pond. They say that work will likely take several weeks to finish. Well, an ailing Eastern Kentucky Water District will soon be under new management. Later today, the Martin County Water District Board Chairman Jimmy Don Kerr will announce the signing of a contract with Alliance Water Resources. The management group will take over Martin County Water and Sewer effective January 1st. The announcement is scheduled for 1 p.m. this afternoon. We will have a reporter there to get the latest details. And the visitation took place yesterday for former longtime Breathitt County Coroner George Griffith. Family and friends say his service to the community extended beyond his work duties. WYMT's Lacey Roberts talked with some of his family. In the small knit community of Breathitt County, memories and stories about George Griffith bring a smile to every face. Care. Yeah. yeah. Happy. <laughs> and he loved people. Integrity, self-sacrifice, and helping those less fortunate are just some of the many traits he possessed. I was always taught, you know, try to leave the world a little bit better place than you found it. And by that measure, George has done a good job. A staple in the city of Jackson, a cooking dinners for the elderly and singing for fundraisers, yet always making time for his family. He taught us how to work hard. He also taught us how to play hard. I mean, he would just, he would make you feel welcome or comfort you, you know, any, anything he went at, he'd done that. He was just that type of person. Split between two worlds, the Griffith family wanted to share their dad and husband. Well, I really didn't mind it because I was glad he had the opportunity that he could serve the people and let them see what kind of man he really was. To feel the community is, uh, the community is gonna miss him, uh, but his family's gonna deeply miss him. Hoping the family can find comfort and their grief too. Knowing that he touched a lot of lives in our community and um, they aren't alone in their sadness. For a man who was full of laughter, love for all, and humility. In Breathitt County, Lacey Roberts, WYMT Mountain News. His funeral is later today at 1 p.m. at the Breathitt Funeral Home. And Governor-elect Andy Bashir appears to be making an effort to work across party lines. On Tuesday, the Governor-elect say he accepted an invitation to attend the House Republicans retreat next month. Governor-elect Bashir faces a Republican majority in the House and Senate. Last week, the Governor-elect said regardless of party, we are all on Team Kentucky. Ahead of his December 10th inauguration, Governor-elect Bashir is asking all Kentucky children to enter in a poster contest. Each poster should fit the theme, Team Kentucky, showing Kentuckians working together. Five winners, their families and school representatives will be invited to be part of the inaugural celebration. We want to see your vision through your artwork. We want to see what common goals we all share, what you share in your community as a goal, in your school, in your family, in your place of worship. Whatever that means to you, we want to see it. Poster, poster entries are due by December 3rd. We have information on how to enter in this story on our website at WYMT.com. And leaders in the horse racing industry met yesterday at Keeneland to discuss ways to protect the sport following several incidents. At least three dozen horses died at Santa Anita in California this year. And here in the bluegrass, nine horses died at Keeneland during the spring and fall meets. The new Thoroughbred Safety Coalition will work together to develop new reforms and to ensure the safety of horses and jockeys. They will create new safety, medication, operational and integrity guidelines that will be used to at tracks across the country. It is that time of year to watch out for deer on the roads. Deer mating and hunting season increases the danger for drivers. Police are, remi are reminding drivers it is safer to hit a deer head on rather than swerve away from it. A Louisville driver says he was on his way home when a deer crossed in front of her car. It flew up in the air and came down on the top of the windshield and, and the roof of the car and my car cut the deer in half. My apologies to that surely kind lady. Katie Lewis says she was knocked unconscious in her crash. She ended up in the hospital with a broken nose and broken ribs.
A little bit of uh, fog across the region this morning. Let's take a look at it here on the visibility and you can see some dense fog in spots. So be careful of that as you head out the door. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s, only 130. Actually, most of us are pretty mild this morning compared to where we usually are. Almanac for today, we are going to see again as we head deeper. Well, graphics are there it is 50 today's our forecast time we average 55 for this time of the year our record 73 back in 1992 madison thank you brandon and thank you for joining mountain news this morning more news is on the way coming up students in floyd county are blowing off a little steam in floyd central high school's new classroom and a stem camp in perry county aimed to bring students together yesterday to think about their future careers 